Hi everyone, in today's video I am finally going to be doing my Taco Bell mukbang. I feel like I've been talking about this for months, like I have been wanting to do this forever. I actually used to tell my sister all the time like before I started getting people like actually watching my videos. I used to tell her that I would freaking love to be in the position where I could film a video of me eating Taco Bell on camera and people would watch. Like, we're here. I enjoy your company so freaking much. I love sitting down and just like talking to the camera and editing it and posting it and then reading all of your responses and like replying back, whatever. So yeah, we're finally doing it. I'm finally sitting down. I'm gonna eat with you guys for the first time today. So yeah, I asked you guys on my Instagram just to ask me questions so I can do a Q&A so I'm not just like sitting here eating, you know? I will show you guys everything I got from Taco Bell. So here is my tray. I'm just eating in my bed because, yeah, I'm just most comfortable here. My order is two Doritos Locos Tacos and I replace the beef in them for black beans. And then I get a bean burrito. They used to have a black bean burrito, but now it's just a refried bean burrito. But you can substitute the refried beans for black beans, so that's what I do. And then I add pico and guacamole. And then I get cinnamon twists, which are my favorite. And then I actually usually like the hot sauce, but they just gave me a bunch of mild, so... No, that's fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna start answering your question. Kaylee Brown wants to know, have I ever considered being a freelance makeup artist instead of working at Ulta? Um, so yes, I have. More so kind of before I started working at Ulta just because I think that I love not so much the opportunities I have at Ulta but just there's like just more overall flexibility with the job like you know every day is a new thing I feel like being a makeup artist might get a little bit repetitive however I have had like several freelance jobs and I think it's really fun but I couldn't imagine doing that like every weekend it's like a lot on your body and I don't know I do think it's a really amazing job. Like I follow this girl named Madison. She's originally from Miami. She worked at Sephora in Miami and I followed her while, while she was in Miami. And then she moved out to New York recently just to pursue her dream. And it's freaking amazing what she's doing out there. Like every day she's like at BuzzFeed Studios, she's at NBC, she's she's doing work for the freaking Today Show. Like she is really on it. Like I, I'm gonna leave her Instagram down below so you guys can like follow her too, follow her journey because it is incredible what she's doing. Like I think that she's definitely, I definitely think she has the potential to like be up there, you know? Mm. Am I allowed to talk with my mouth open? I guess so, like that's what you guys are here for. I will say, Taco Bell, if you are watching this, I need you to bring back the Cool Ranch tacos. I was devastated when I found out that you guys took them away. Absolutely devastated. These are good, like they're good, but they're not as good, you know what I mean? Alexis wants to know if I ever would consider cutting my hair short. I did. Two Februarys ago, I cut it off. I cut it like shoulder length. It was the worst mistake of my life. I don't know, building up to it like a week before, I was like crying on and off like the week leading up to me cutting my hair. I was just like freaking nervous to do it. And then when I got to the actual place to cut my hair, I was sobbing in the chair, like sobbing while she was cutting my hair. And then I sobbed after. And then I just like freaking hated it for the whole duration of me having short hair. So I'm probably never gonna cut my hair again. Honestly, that was like a traumatizing experience. But yeah, if you wanna look back far enough on my Instagram, there's pictures for sure. Trinity wants to know what made me do YouTube in the first place. I'm 23, but I've wanted to start a YouTube channel probably since I was in fifth grade. Like, I used to watch hella YouTube videos, like makeup videos, in like fifth grade, sixth grade, like onward like I still watch hella makeup videos I just remember watching makeup videos and like feeling so inspired by them when I was younger like really young 
and feeling just so inspired by them and taking out my palettes and like swatching my palettes while I was watching other people swatch their palettes and like I was just so into it and I really wanted to start one but I just like wasn't confident enough like I wasn't confident enough in like the way that I looked I just really was not confident in myself enough to start one so I started it when I was a freshman in college I had nothing to lose I had like just broken up with my boyfriend of two years um I had no friends at my college and I just freaking did it like I I just did it and it was the best decision of my life like I'm going through it right now. I'm, I'm going through a little bit of a rough patch, which I opened up a little bit in my last video. But I'm really glad that I started it. I'm really thankful with the success and growth I've seen from it recently. It was a rough couple of years. Like, it wasn't rough. I still like doing what I did, but, you know, it's totally different making videos for literally nobody and now I'm making videos for thousands of people who are watching you know before it like definitely felt like nobody was watching which was fine like I still posted because I really liked doing it but it was like that interaction that I was really really wanting and I finally have it now so I'm super I'm stoked I'm stoked for the future and yeah Mina wants to know any brands that I dislike slash hate Honestly, Kat Von D, like, I do not mess with Kat Von D after all of her, like, anti-vaxxer shit and her husband being, like, you know, having, like, Nazi tattoos and stuff. Like, I'm not cool with that. Like, I definitely think in a case like that, a brand absolutely should be boycotted. And it's, like, crazy that people come into Ult all the time asking for Kat Von D. I'm like... Girl, have you tried Stila? Like, the Stila liquid liner. She's just as good. I understand, like, Kat Von D had some cool products, but, like, that shit can be duped, you know? Um, but I didn't really get too much into, like, the rebranding of Kat Von D. Like, I know that stuff is going on right now, but, I mean, I don't know. But you would never catch me using anything Kat Von D on my channel. Plus, it's sold at Sephora, and, like, I don't have access to Sephora as much as I have access to Ulta. Wilma, you are being so freaking good. I'm gonna move my bag so you guys can see how cute she is. And she's being very good. I cannot believe that you're not sitting here crying and begging for food. So if you had only one product to use for the rest of your life, what would it be? I'd ha I mean, I, it's a toss up between a brow product and a lip balm, but like, I'm always needing a lip balm all day. Like, I don't need a brow product all day. I need a lip balm all day. So touch on your education degree. I'm graduating with an education degree as well, and I'm not interested in pursuing it yeah honestly it's rough it is um especially that last semester where i had to literally be immersed in my degree like i had to pretend to be a teacher for a semester and that was rough like i'm really thankful that i had the support that i did from my clinical educator and honestly my school was pretty supportive really supportive considering i didn't want to do it like the professor that i had to work under she was really tough but for some reason, she was very, very kind to me and really understanding that this was not my passion, even though she kept reminding me that I, I was really good at it and if I changed my mind, like, I would really make a good teacher, but my heart just wasn't in it, like, at all. And, you know, I think back on it, too, and the other day I got a little choked up because I do miss that group of kids. Like, they will always have a special place in my heart, but, like, I don't... I don't want that again. I don't want to be involved in a classroom like that again. But I did talk about this in my last video. I have started tutoring. I'm tutoring an eighth grader right now. He, It's not a part of my degree. My degree is from, for K through six, but um, I'm tutoring an eighth grader right now. I'm just kind of helping him. It's like holding him accountable, keeping up with his homework, stuff like that. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. So I think it'd be cool to pick up some tutoring jobs. I really love one-on-one -on -one interaction. I really like the small group kind of stuff, but having to handle a whole classroom by myself, like, dang, like, I would not, I just wouldn't like it. What's your biggest pet peeve? So, I have a lot. Like, I bet I have a lot. But what is coming to mind right now is when people put the money sign after the amount, because, like, they think, like, $56. But no, it's $56. This money sign goes before. I understand... That like when you're reading it, it kind of makes sense, but it's just a pet peeve of mine because like I know it's wrong. Oh, this is so freaking good. 
I swear, like, so I get black beans not because I'm a vegetarian or anything. I will eat ground beef all day. But I definitely think at, like, Taco Bell, their black beans are so freaking yummy. I think that they're better than the meat for sure. Okay, this is a good one. Would you turn YouTube into a full-time career if you had the chance or keep it part-time? Yeah, so this is kind of a big toss-up, you know? So currently at Ulta, I work very part-time hours, but... Okay, and this is gonna get like really, really transparent. I make more money on YouTube than I do working at Ulta right now. I hope this is cool for me to talk about because I know some people get like kind of weird about when you talk about money and YouTube. Um, at least I see that with like bigger YouTubers. You know, people are getting upset and butthurt. But I mean, it's just a fact. Like right now, I am making more money on the internet than I do at Ulta, but I freaking love my job at Ulta. So I feel like if I just continue doing this and working part-time at Ulta, I would be very happy because I love working at Ulta. So I just feel like I just feel like maybe I'll always have two jobs. You know, I'll have YouTube, which I don't really consider a job right now. I mean, maybe down the line, but I make money from YouTube. So I guess it is kind of in the realm of things and I have Ulta so I really like doing both right now and I could see myself you know continuing to do both so yeah if I guess if I could turn this into a full-time like job or career I would but I think I would still work at Ulta like if I got to the point I would even want to work at Ulta just like one day a week just so I can continue working there because I love like the customer interaction sorry Wilma I love the customer interaction. I am so like antisocial. Like when I am home, I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to do anything. But I think it's important for me to have that personal connection with people, like in person. And Ulta does that for me, you know. Um, basically, what I do online, I do it at Ulta too. I'm like talking about makeup products and giving recommendations online, and I do that in person at Ulta. And I just love, I like both kinds of interactions. So yeah, I think I'll always probably do both. So someone asked me when I had my first kiss. I had my first kiss in eighth grade and I feel like that's probably like a little bit old for some people. Let me know when your first kiss was. I had my first kiss in eighth grade and it was with Austin Lop just spilling the beans we kissed like right before i had like my last period like my last block or whatever and then i found out that same day after we had kissed like after i had had my very first kiss he kisses another girl that same freaking day awesome lop is crazy but you know i've moved on from it i'm good now that was sad for a little eighth grade me to find out that my first kiss was ruined like that so someone asked if you could change anything going on in the world right now what would it be and that is a freaking that's a question like i like can't give the right answer to this question i want to say something with the environment like for sure i wish that the whole world had stricter laws on you know single-use plastics and really like took the time and energy and money and put it in to organizations that are going to help clean up our mess i feel like that yeah i just i feel like i would definitely change the world to be more environmentally cautious so glow with noms she's very very cute and sweet she's like a little 14 year old instagram influencer she's literally the cutest she's literally who i would have been at 14 if like instagram was the way that it was but she asked me a couple of questions um she asked me if i watched the netflix documentary broken i think i only watched one episode of that and it was the one where ColourPop was interviewed about the counterfeit makeup whamma but i wouldn't buy counterfeit makeup you know and i also think that there's a lot of videos on youtube where it's like trying makeup from aliexpress but like that's still really contributing to the problem so yeah man like i don't know i think people just need to stop doing it like if you can't afford it you can't afford it there are so many freaking dupes out there at this point like you can get you can achieve the look you want with 20 bucks with real makeup you know what i mean i do not think that people need to be buying garbage online especially with like how scientists were testing like the ingredients that were in the products and it was just so bad holy shit i forgot i forgot i had 
a strawberry freeze and it's all like kind of melted by now. I'm like over here thinking like, dang, I'm thirsty. Oh, it's still just as good. Bailey wants to know weirdest comment you've ever gotten on any platform. Bailey. I don't know if you were following me, but I shared on Instagram this one comment that I got and it was freaking insane. Basically, this girl writes this comment on one of my videos and was like talking about how annoying my voice was and how I sounded like a white girl, which made it even more annoying because I wasn't white. Oh my, I'm sorry, I scared you. But dang, like, first of all, you're gonna be mean to me and then you're all of a sudden gonna be racist as well. So I commented back and, oh, oh, okay. She said something about like how I sounded so rude or whatever and how I sounded like a basic white girl and then she was mad that I wasn't even white. So I commented back and I was like, the only thing rude here is your comment. Like that is ridiculous. So she ended up deleting the comment and then commenting again, but a much nicer one. And she was like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like rude. I actually really like your videos, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? I'm pretty sure I blocked her. Cause like, I don't need nutso watching my video over here. But like, oh, dang. My friend Courtney, who I'm going to visit next month in New York, I'm so freaking excited. I've never met her before, but our friendship is so special to me. It, it's so special to me. I'm very excited to meet her. She asked me what my favorite songs were at the moment and Courtney, I am sorry to disappoint. I do not listen to music. I don't know if other people feel this way, but sometimes listening to music by myself gives me anxiety. And I really freaking hope I'm not alone in feeling this way because I know a lot of people listen to music to cope with their anxiety, but I'm the complete opposite. Like, I don't know. I just can't do it. I can't. But yesterday I did listen to Lana Del Rey's newest album, which is probably not a good decision because it's so sad, but like, I love it. Um, I did listen to it at work, but that was like the first time I listened to music in weeks, weeks. If you had the resources, would you start a makeup line or skincare line? And what would your name for it be? Fuck yes. Yes, I freaking would. So yeah, I have so many freaking ideas for a makeup line, but I hate the negativity surrounding YouTubers coming out with brands. I... I just don't want to be in that grouping. I think if I was going to come out with a makeup brand, it would not be associated with my personal online persona. Like it wouldn't be a part of what I did on YouTube. It would be a whole separate project, something that I like poured my heart into, something that I obviously talk about on my channel, but it wouldn't be a part of my YouTube channel. It would just be another extension of my life. I would not want to use my YouTube channel as a way to promote my brand. I would want my makeup brand to grow organically by itself. Like I would like that I would feel most proud doing that. And I just have so many freaking ideas for it. Like the ideas that I have for my makeup brand, I feel like I haven't seen before. And I really would, oh my God, like it would be freaking amazing if I had the resources to do that, but I just don't. But absolutely, freaking lootly I don't know what I would name it. Um, yeah, I just don't know what I would name it. I think like once I started working on it, I'm sure it would come to me. I don't want to eat this burrito anymore. I'm over it. But I also have like a fun line that I would want to do. But I don't even know if I would want to do it anymore because I don't work at Chipotle. But when I used to work at Chipotle, I used to fantasize about making a Chipotle, like, line. Like, a limited edition Chipotle line. And I have so many freaking ideas for it. Like, it is crazy. I actually, like, have, like, blueprints of what I would want the freaking collection to look like. But I don't know. I just don't know if it'll ever happen. It would be freaking cool, but money, resources, like, I've looked into it and it would be so freaking expensive. And I think that's why a lot of YouTubers do come out with their own brands. Like they get the opportunity to and why would you ever say no to that? Um, especially when you love makeup so much, like I totally get it. But the hate surrounded by YouTubers and their makeup brands, I don't know if my heart could take it. I don't know if I could work so hard on something and be so proud about something and people just tearing it down so much. Someone writes, what is your ideal type of guy when it comes to looks. My boyfriend, obviously. I think that he's so cute. This is a really good one. So 
how do you deal with the stress of not knowing what you're doing with your degree yet because same I don't think about it I don't think about it because I love what I'm doing right now and that's all that matters to me if I need to go work a freaking desk job in a cubicle five years from now I would embrace that too you just have to figure out what you're doing and you just have to be happy and you know surround yourself with people that you love your job and your career does not have to be your whole freaking life you know what i mean like freaking costco for example like like me and my mom were at costco today and there are like grown adults there working that have families and they make costco out of their career are they obsessed with costco maybe i'm obsessed with costco but like it's not a passion of theirs, you know? Like, your job does not have to be your passion. You could have passions outside of your job. You know, we all have to work to make money, and that's that. And if you don't use your degree to make money, who cares, you know? Like, as long as you're happy, it doesn't matter. I stress about it way more when I was actually working on my college degree. But now that I'm out and finished, I don't think about it. Like, I have it. It's there. I probably won't ever use it but it's it's there I have it it's done by the way my degree is in elementary education someone did ask me what um, my major was in college and then she also asked me if I liked coffee and if so what is my go-to Starbucks drink I don't drink coffee um, it's just an addiction that I don't want to have to have but I do like a green tea so whenever I do go to Starbucks I usually order a venti unsweetened iced green tea and that's my go-to so janet asked me a ton of freaking questions but i'm only gonna answer a couple she asked am i into thrifting i am i do like to thrift um i like to thrift more for winter clothes though than i do summer clothes i don't know why i just feel like you can get a bomb turtleneck at goodwill but i can't find good summer clothes in goodwill she asked plans for merch yeah i um i would definitely want to come up with something something small would it be freaking crazy and it would be something that like you could wear or have wilma she really wants a freaking let me see you want a tiny one girl you can have it it would definitely be something that like you could wear and people wouldn't know it was merch the only merch i own is bailey sarian merch and her sweatshirt is freaking cool so I would want something kind of similar to that. And you already know that if I'm coming out with sweatshirts for humans, I'm coming out with sweatshirts for dogs too. Because she also asked about Wilma merch. Ooh, she also asked about Wilma's favorite toys currently or treats. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, I recently got a subscription to BarkBox. And I just had my first Instagram live and me and Wilma unboxed our BarkBox together. And it was so freaking fun. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, you definitely should because I do plan on doing those every month. So yeah that should be really fun i do plan on doing other instagram lives so definitely follow me because i want to do like get ready with me it's like i want to do one maybe once a week i think that would be really fun and i loved getting to interact with you guys like real time it felt so good to like meet you guys so yeah i guess she really likes her bark box right now do i speak any other languages i don't i freaking wish i did i know how to say hello in thai and i know how to count to 10. that same person asked how old I was. I'm 23 years old. I will turn 24 November 26th. Definitely remember so you can wish me a happy birthday. What are your favorite videos to record? This. I'm having a blast. I love filming Get Ready With Me's though. I love filming a chatty Get Ready With Me. And that's kind of why I would love to like live stream it because then I wouldn't have to edit it, you know? It would just be like my thoughts just pouring out. Fave restaurant, fast food, and sit down. I love Taco Bell for fast food. I also love Culver's. We recently got a Culver's, like, right by my house. Mmm. Their beer-battered onion rings. Perfection. Perfection. Someone asked me, do you see yourself moving out this year? First of all, mind your business. I'm just kidding. Yes. Um, and I'm real, like, oh my god, I'm getting freaking emotional just thinking about it because I'm such a baby. I'm really emotional about it. I'm really surrounding a lot of anxiety about it, but I think it's time, you guys. Like, I, oh my god. I think it's time that I, like, really consider, like, saving money for this 
and move out and i do think it's gonna happen this year the idea of not living in my parents house scares the shit out of me because i just have like a lot of anxieties about not being with my family and like not knowing like where everyone is and shit like it i have a lot of anxieties built up around this and i need to deal with them but i also love my boyfriend and i want a future with him and we are going to be 24 this year and this is where it starts you know I, I have to get started somewhere i know that like you know when i move out and i have my own space and i'll have my one girl with me like I will be okay. I do not want to move. I do not want to move anywhere far. I want to be at the very most 20 minutes away from my family. Like I definitely am going to find a place close by, but yeah, I think it's time. I really would be curious if there's people my age that are watching this who feel the same way because I would love to freaking have someone to relate to because I feel like all my friends have moved on and my friends who live with their parents right now don't feel the anxieties that I feel about moving out. Like they kind of like would move out or they wouldn't move out. I've been feeling really alone in like how I've been feeling lately anyway. Uh, do you prefer wearing the no makeup look or a full B? It really just depends on my mood. Like I feel like, I honestly feel like for every day I love meeting somewhere in the middle, kind of like what I'm doing right now. This is no, this is by no means a no makeup look, but it's not a full glam look it's like a right in between this is like kind of what i do on a daily basis i think both are equally as fun though to do so yeah someone asked tips on putting yourself before others i struggle with trying to make everyone happy and it's exhausting yeah man like i think there's a stigma around being selfish but i think sometimes you absolutely need to be selfish and think about yourself because how are you going to meet someone else's needs and take care of someone else's needs when you're not taking care of your own so i definitely think that you need to be selfish sometimes and dedicate time to yourself and do what makes you happy and say no just say no sometimes try it do it I dare you. So when I ask for a funny story time, I have the most boring freaking life. I have nothing to share. I wish I did though. Imagine me as the next Tana Mojo. Tips on making side money. Babysitting. I freaking love babysitting. House sitting and dog sitting are where it's at. I love house sitting because you kind of just like get the whole house to yourself. You get to take care of their dogs. It's like kind of a change of scenery. It's fun. I love house sitting. Sparkly onion rings, which is really... I love that name. They said, what is your favorite fast food? Taco Bell or Culver's? Favorite lip gloss? Glossier lip gloss. First kiss story time. I already shared it. Worst college experience? I had to drop out of college one time. Not like officially drop out, but I had to take a semester off because I didn't read my freaking emails for eight months, I guess, apparently. And I was supposed to sign up to do my student internship like eight months before I found out that I had to do that and I got to the first day of class I didn't have my placement everyone else had their placement and I was like well fuck and I had to take the semester off I mean my school really would have worked with me and like been super accommodating but this was also something I didn't want to do like I did not like my major even at that point I had been pretty sure for a long time that I didn't want to be a teacher but I am just like not a quitter like I don't like I don't like change I don't like trying to make other things work but yeah my school would have been pretty accommodating with it they they basically said like you missed a few things like you missed open house you missed the opportunity to get like a really good placement by your house but like we will make it work and I was like thanks but no thanks so at the time I had just gotten a job at Ulta. Things happened for a reason because a couple months later, during my time taking my semester off, I did get a management position at Ulta and I worked so often, so hard. It was such an amazing time in my life and I learned a lot about myself. I learned how hard working I was and how driven I was to do things that I really enjoyed which was something I hadn't experienced because before I was working at Chipotle and then 
you know, I was at school doing something I didn't really care about. So it was really an incredible feeling and really good for finding myself to do something that I really loved, which was working at Ulta. So it was pretty devastating when I had to take a step back and go back to school, but it was really important for me to finish up because I had to finish. Like I had just one year left and I just had to finish. So that's what I did and yeah, I'm all finished now. It's all behind me and I'm just chilling. Just having a good time. So that's it. I feel like that's a good place to leave off. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to do this, but next time maybe in a live stream. I'm just really super freaking into live streams right now because the one that I did on Instagram was just a freaking blast. So yeah, let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, it felt really good to just sit down and eat and talk. So yeah, thank you. Thanks for being there. But yeah, that is going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I see you next time.